Okay. Um, it was great. It was great. Nice discussion. So uh, uh, this one is actually that are uh, not only the uh, presentation, but also some thing like a, a discussion or brainstorm or something or something like that. Yeah. I um, last year uh, we have our uh, uh, doing that similar thing. Uh, was it that for uh, function graph tracer? So that our function graph tracer can, uh, what we can do with our function graph tracer. And uh, actually, that our, uh, now we have our, uh, what's it, our, we, uh, yeah, last time we, we have our, our some ideas about that, our, like a um, uh, function graph tracer with our uh, function parameters function return address or uh, what's it, or something like that. And now we get our uh, summer, uh, what's it, our uh, patch series uh, from our Sven and uh, also uh, Don Ling uh, about that uh, ideas. So that our, I would like to uh, doing this, uh, do our similar things on the uh, k probes. Not only, uh, no, uh, on, not only the k probes, but also the uh, kernel probes. So, um, but before that, uh, I need to explain that the, what uh, the probes uh, we are uh, we have now. Um, so, uh, the, in the kernel, we have some uh, probes, um, especially uh, uh, <coughs> what's it that are the K probes and the U probes are very uh, what's it that are uh, famous. But uh, we uh, have uh, another type of the probes. Uh, let's say that uh, we have uh, three types of probes. Uh, one is our uh, breakpoint probes, and uh, another one is our uh, wrapper probes. Um, and that is uh, something like a, a function or a function graph tracer wrapper probe. And uh, uh, also, we have our uh, probes in our, uh, only in the uh, trace FS. So that's our uh, like at, uh, e probes and t probes are uh, only in the uh, what say that the trace FS. Okay. Um, at first, I would like to uh, explain that uh, what the, the k probes and the u probes and how it ra uh, runs. Um, so that our k probes and the u probes both using that our software breakpoint. So that our it put that a summer software breakpoint instruction in our uh, kernel code or user space code, and that will uh, hit that uh, uh, code, uh, the, uh, we'll say that the kernel uh, software breakpoint handler, and call uh, the uh, user's k probes or u probes, uh, which depends on the, the uh, when, uh, where uh, the software breakpoint hit. Yeah. And this, these probes are already used by your e probes, uh, uh, sorry, e, e BPF, uh, F trace, and perf. So those can be used. And uh, um, actually, that there is uh, some uh, tool like a perf probe uh, can use, uh, what's it, that uh, analyze that the, the user space and the kernel uh, dwarf and find that uh, which uh, line of the code, uh, and also uh, which uh, local uh, variable or function parameter uh, can be uh, traced or something like that. And uh, we have our, uh, some uh, KRET probes and uh, URET probes, so that are, you can uh, also uh, prove, uh, what's it, that are prove that there are some uh, function return in the kernel or in the user space. That's our, uh, those are the uh, k probes. And then our new probes, uh, f probe. Uh, this one is actually that, uh, similar to the k probes, but only for the kernel uh, function uh, entry and exit. So that are, <laughs> yeah, uh, so this one is, uh, what's the originally for? Uh, uh, what's it that are uh, boosting up that are uh, the registration of the the probes? Uh, usually, uh, used to uh, what's it that are the k probes 
uh, or U probes, uh, no, uh, only the K probes. Actually, that the K probes uh, registration uh, take a time. So that are uh, some are, uh, the maintainer G uh, asked me to uh, to speed up the registration. <laughs> so uh, I don't I, I uh, return uh, replied that uh, that uh, could uh, say that couldn't do that because that uh, we need to uh, uh, say wait for some RCU uh, synchronized system or something like that. Uh, for the K probes, uh, you, uh, what's it, that's a registration and unregistration. Uh, instead of that, we can use our F, uh, F trace because that the F trace, well, we can uh, what's it, specify that there are uh, multiple I, uh, what's it, addresses to probe. Yeah. So that are, uh, this one is, uh, uh, has been made. Uh, this one, so that our uh, F probe is only for the function entry and use it. Because that are, uh, this one is originally for the EPR, uh, EBPF. EBPF usually uh, uses usually only uh, what's it, that are probe uh, function entry and exit. So that that is okay. So anyway, so that are uh, this one uh, just uh, called uh, when are uh, what's it that are F trace hit that are the function entry, and uh, that will call uh, uh, call back that F probe. And uh, we have our E probes and T probes. Uh, this, these are the different, a uh, bit different, but uh, actually the third, this one is only for the F trace currently. The E probes uh, uh, can, we can uh, put that E probe on the uh, some trace event. Uh, so that are there are uh, uh, more than uh, uh, hundreds of the uh, trace point, uh, trace events in the kernel. Uh, defined in the kernel, uh, but uh, some are uh, e probes. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, some events uh, was it pass that uh, some are uh, kernel pointers or data pointers or something like that, and uh, we don't uh, the user need sometimes need to uh, was it that refer the uh, internal of that or change that want to change the uh, was it that expression of the uh, the data type or something like that. So that our e probes will uh, also get uh, when our, uh, the trace events uh, hit, uh, e probes will uh, get that information and uh, uh, also that convert the information and show that. And t probes is very similar to the uh, also e probes, uh, but the, it actually that the hit uh, also that the trace event is based on the trace point. And T proofs is for the trace point. <laughs> yeah, trace point actually get the, usually get the some data structure, and uh, uh, what's it that the, uh, it trace event convert the data structure field so that the uh, members uh, and to the uh, what's it that the event parameters so that the several event parameters, but the. Uh, of course, it will not cover that the older field. So that the some, uh, what's it, that the, uh, the uh, field, on, only some field will be uh, uh, recorded. But uh, uh, so the user will uh, want to uh, try to get the, uh, more information from the, that uh, data structure. In that case, you can use the T probes. And T probes, uh, with the T probes, you can uh, get the uh, data structure address and uh, uh, what's it, that the save that the, uh, what's it, deliver uh, range, deliver range that the, uh, the data structure pointer and get the, uh, the field. And you can, um, what's it, get the, the, uh, the field value, yeah. So those three uh, types of the, uh, I'll say that are probes we we have, and now we have our another uh, features for the uh, F trace, uh, F probes and the uh, uh, K probes, not U probes yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, F trace uh, features uh, one is the BTF support, so that a bit. Uh, let's say that from the F trace, uh, K probes, uh, you can uh, use that uh, something like a, 
data structure name and uh, data structure field name and uh, something like that. Uh, so that are, uh, for example, this uh, example shows that the uh, VFS open fi uh, the function, uh, the, there is a pass, um, uh, what's it, the, um, pass, uh, how I say, the kernel parameter, and uh, it is actually that the function, uh, uh, pass data structure pointer. So that uh, you need to uh, defer that uh, to get the D entry field, and also the defer to the, uh, the to get the DI name, which actually that the pass name. Uh, so that are uh, it's uh, getting that uh, that's, uh, that's uh, the name uh, and store as a string. So. Something like that, so that you can uh, get the, uh, the those are uh, what's it that are the uh, file name or uh, file uh, what's it that's a frag or so something like that. Save it. This can be uh, used uh, from the K probes and the F probes and also T probes. Yeah, T probes. Uh, you need to uh, you need this fe uh, feature because you have her only the uh, the tracing uh, uh, trace point data, and also uh, the entry data support is also supported uh, for the uh, k red probes or something like that, the return probes. So that uh, when uh, we are running that uh, the probes uh, on the uh, function exit, uh, sometimes we would like to ch uh, check that uh, what what uh, field uh, value is changing uh, to to what, and uh, in that case you need to uh, uh, what's it that uh, make a two uh, event, function entry and the function exit. But uh, that order, execution order, is not always uh, the same, because that some other uh, what's it that are. Uh, uh, CPU will call that, or uh, what's it that are uh, in another function, uh, the thread can be sweep, and uh, another thread will uh, run it. So that are yeah, in that case, that are which uh, you need to find that the, uh, the uh, pair of the function entry and the function exit. This one uh, will uh, remove that that pain, so that are you can. Uh, what's it save that are the entry data in a, uh, by uh, what's say that are uh, function exit um, uh, proof. So uh, that is the uh, what's it that the latest um, feature of the uh, the probes. So I would like to ask you uh, uh, some question about that, uh, what kind of uh, probes you want to add. <laughs> yeah. For example, um, there's uh, currently I'm in my brain, uh, what's it, that uh, mind. Uh, for example, that are harder breakpoint probes uh, can maybe uh, possible to add. So that are if you are hit that are, uh, the function uh, entry and uh, want to uh, trace that the one parameters axis, so that are uh, then uh, uh, you can uh, what say specify that the, uh, this uh, hardware breakpoint and set to the the, uh, the parameter address or something like that. Then uh, we can you can find that the with, when the the parameter uh, is accessed or something like that. <clears throat> or uh, another one is a monitor probe, which one is something like uh, the time, uh, what's it, that? time, how I say, time scale uh, pr uh, probes. So that uh, currently the, all the probes is uh, the place, uh, what's it, that the based one. So that are, uh, uh, the kernel running that are the, some code then uh, uh, the probe is hit. But uh, instead, maybe we can use uh, the timer to run uh, the probe. 
and get the, uh, the uh, some uh, information, uh, static information, like uh, stat statistic information, like uh, uh, PROCFS or SYSFS or something like that. That will, uh, will help uh, to uh, what's it, to monitor the kernel by uh, using that tracing. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. So um, just a quick idea with the hardware breakpoints. Um, this might be useful, but most variables that I would be interested in are not uh, static in memory. So this would probably need to be somehow scoped. Like um, when I enter a function, I can dereference one of the parameters, find a field and dereference and find a field. This is the location I'm interested in. Yeah. And when I leave this function again, you can, you can delete the hardware pointer until you enter it again. Yeah. So that would be probably one way to make it useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, that are, yeah, I think that uh, this one uh, should, uh, what's it, that you, which are uh, K probes or F probes. So that are uh, those function entry and the function exit probe, yeah. So uh, in, in perftrace, yeah. uh, we are using BPF to collect the contents of a uh, data structure that I pass it to, uh, to syscalls. I'd say mm -hmm. you are doing a nanoslip, so mm -hmm. you have the RKTP, the, the, the timestamp, uh, the, the, the time uh, vol, and uh, so we copy it and send it to the end of the payload for the, that, mm. that syscall uh, trace point. So th do you have any, anything in there that, that could help with that? Let's say, instead of asking for a specific point, I would say uh, get that pointer argument for this trace point or for mm. this uh, syscall, which is a trace point, uh, and add it to the end so that I get this uh, augmented oh, so uh, the trace whole... points, and then uh, in user space, uh, uh, perf trace already uses uh, uh, BTF to do the pretty printing because you have to do all this stuff. Like you have an integer, and you know that that the integer in fact is an enumeration, so you translate that. Or I use CTL. You have an arg so th this kinds of thing. You get the values from data structures, and you translate it further. Uh, you see, so you, you, sometimes you use one, one, one field and refer to what's in another one, but we need the contents of yeah. the data structure. Yeah, so that are oh. something like <laughs> something like a, a GDBs are print, pretty print feature. Well, like wait, uh, are, are you talking about, so basically are you saying that this event is hit, and when I hit this event, I want that field from the previous event? No. Or is that no? no? I want the contents of the... It's basically replicating as trace. Yeah, so basically this. So basically, or. We know. Right, so basically, you have a syscall, okay? Syscall enter. Yeah. You have like the file path. Yeah. And then on exit, you want that file path that was no, passed no, in. On the no, no. enter, I want the file path. No, no, you want the file path, but when do you, but you want to pass that to the. No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's, it's not that. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. so basically, wait, wait, so you want to, or you just want to be able to trace. The contents. Of the contents of that. Yes. It, so that everything in there. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, but you can do that right now with the way well, you get. Wait. No, uh, uh, we um, need to uh, specify that there's something, uh, the special one. Uh, we don't, uh, let's say, maybe we, uh, we can use that the BTF yeah. uh, to the find data. that the how long, we the how so big. The, uh, we have the raw data, so uh, we, we have it now in, in Breath Trace. We, we get the raw data and then use the space to pass to a pretty printer that we'll get, let's say, yeah. oh, this is nanoseconds, this is microseconds. Oh, yeah. In other cases, let's say the perf event or BPF, that there is an attribute, there are lots of fields, all of those fields have to be interpreted in some way. So this is a frequency, it's megahertz, this is so on and so forth. So we, we need to, uh, when you do the syscall, you copy this thing, you put on the ring buffer, use the space, we'll do the pretty printing, or we'll save this into a perf data that later on, on another machine, I will pretty print. I don't want to pretty print it in the kernel. Yeah. I mean, there are use cases for pretty printing. In the kernel, yeah. you are doing it. Uh, what I'm wanting is the raw data at the end of the, the trace point yeah. for the syscall, or for any other trace point that has pointers to instructs. 
We, we are doing this in, in path trace, but using a method that's different from what you are doing here. So perhaps that, that I think that there is space for consolidation. You see? Yeah. So that are uh, some more sides of the what say that are the chunk of the data we can uh, uh, save that uh, there is no pretty printer and no uh, uh, what say uh, checking that are the uh, data uh, what say that are data structure size or something like that. So that uh, we need to add that. Right. Yeah, right. But, uh, it, yeah, it, that is a good uh, yeah idea. Yeah. It, it's v uh, sometimes it, it, like soccer that year. Yeah. Yeah. It's you have the size. It's another field for the Cisco. Oh uh, yeah. You see? So, I mean, uh, the collector we have associated oh. with that in the BPF knows about that, so it knows how, uh, how much data to, to copy. It's yeah. working now. But uh, it, so that, 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 you, you, if you had this mechanism, then we would switch to that instead mm. of having to, to do these things. So we can talk about more later to, to, oh, to, okay. to tell yeah. about the experience we have on the perf trace and see how it could be done with your mechanism. OK, yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, other one, maybe one more. One minute. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much.